Hi, Paul Short here from GoDrone. This is just a quick video tutorial showing how to calibrate the compass in your splash drone. First things first, we want to go ahead and connect power to the drone. We then want to go ahead and install the roof on top of the aircraft. We're going to do up the screws and we're going to double check that the front direction indicator is indeed facing towards the front of the aircraft. If you get that wrong, it's guaranteed to crash. Next what we want to do is go ahead and power on the controller by holding both buttons until it powers up, like so. Ensure that all switches are away from you or the drone won't power up. After waiting a few seconds since powering it on, we want to go ahead and initiate a compass calibration by grabbing the return to home switch, pulling it towards us. We then want to do this stick pattern on the controls and hold it until the lights start flashing. We can now see, you probably can't on the camera, or you can, you can now see that the lights have started flashing and you're going to pick the drone up and do the following procedure. You're going to hold the drone level and you're going to slowly, while holding it level, rotate a complete spin. We're now going to continue to do this for every single axis of the drone. Imagine it was a dice and you have to do a 360 for each number. After completing six rotations, one for each axis of the drone, we want to go ahead and put it down somewhere level and wait for the lights to start uh, to stop flashing. So if we look there, it's no longer flashing um, the same as it was before. It's now just going flash, 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 flash. Whereas while it was calibrating, it was flashing consistently. So now that it's doing that, the drone should be ready to fly. Now it's a good safety precaution after doing a compass calibration to go ahead and pop the lid off and unplug the drone and just give it a quick reboot. So we're going to disconnect the battery, we're going to power down the controller, like so. We're then going to connect the battery, install the canopy. Power the controller on and make sure all switches are away and we should now be ready to fly. Um, the reason for a compass calibration is that depending on where you are in the world the offset between magnetic north and true north varies depending on if you're on an iron sand beach and it's going to swing further one way and if you're on a normal beach it's going to swing the other way. I recommend recalibrating every time you fly at a different site that's more than approximately 50 kilometers from where you flew last. I also recommend calibrating if the style of sight you're on changes. For example, flying at a park compared to flying at an iron sand beach. The calibration procedure is pretty simple and can save you a lot of headaches while you're flying. One last tip. An incorrect compass calibration, being one that's done too close to steel objects or failing to calibrate when you've moved a significant distance, can cause the drone to behave erratically and start flying around in circles and doing all kinds of strange things. Once you've become skilled as a pilot, what you can do is if it starts to behave badly, you can pull this GPS or the mode switch all the way towards you. That puts it in a mode called attitude mode and that disables the GPS and the compass and will allow you to safely land the aircraft manually. I recommend learning to fly in this mode before you have an emergency, but um, if you can become skilled enough as a pilot to fly in this mode, it will give you that extra safety net if your compass calibration was ever to be off or if the GPS module was to ever fail. There you go, I hope that helps you, and uh, yeah, all the best flying your new splash drone.